Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the gas to your range. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the oven door hinge in a Maytag wrench. It's going to be a very easy repair, should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a strap wrench, a flatbed screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, and a 5 16 nut driver. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new oven door hinge. The main reasons why the oven door hinge would need to be replaced are if they start making noise or the door won't stay closed. Start with removing the grates. Then we need to take out the gas burner heads. Place the rubber strap around the burner head so the igniter will be in a triangular opening. Tighten it and then turn the wrench counterclockwise. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the wires from the burner heads. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove the four screws near each opening for the burner heads. Insert the putty knife into the seam under the top at approximately four inches from each corner and push it in to release the locking clips. Lift and remove the top panel. Open the oven door and pull off the hinges. Get behind the wrench and using the quarter inch nut driver, remove the seven screws on the back of the side panel. Remove the two Phillips and one quarter inch screws at the top of the side panel. Pull the rear end of the side panel from under the control panel bracket, lift the panel to unlock it from the front clips and remove it. Here you can see the door hinge. It's attached with the two 5 16 inch screws from the front. Open the broiler door and remove the two screws and take the old oven door hinge out. This is the old oven door hinge next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Let's install the new door hinge. Place it through the opening and secure it to the frame with the two 5 16 inch screws. To replace the opposite side door hinge, just follow the same steps. Place the side panel on, slide it down to lock on the front pins and then Push the rear end under the control panel bracket. Install the two Phillips and one quarter inch screws on the top. Secure the panel from the back with seven quarter inch screws. Grab the oven door by the sides and slide it on the door hinges. Open and close the door to make sure it's installed properly. Place the top panel on. Pull the wires through the openings and connect them to the burner heads, one burner head at a time. Push down the top panel and install the four Phillips screws to secure the orifice tubes to the top.
Place the burner heads inside the opening and turn it clockwise to lock. Place the grates back. Looks like we're done with the repair. Turn the gas on, plug the wrench in, and check if it works properly. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.